Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new Zorin 11 beta that was just released. Um, let me pull up the uh, release announcement. And I have looked at Zorin in the past. I also paid for their premium install back, I think it was Zorin either 9 or 10. Um, but this is the new 11. It is a beta. Again, it's based on Ubuntu. Um, it's based on Ubuntu 15.10. Now, evidently they have made some improvements. So we're going to take a look at what you get for the standard install. Uh, they're focused on improving the overall desktop user experience from the smallest details to the bigger picture. Uh, improved versions of our standard pre-installed applications and new, new applications to help you get more done in Zorin OS in a faster, better, and more fun way. These apps include a built-in contacts manager, clocks, which allows you to set alarms, a timer, stopwatch, as well as view the time in different parts of the world, and a simple and beautiful new video player. Okay, so now the first thing that I noticed when I um, started up Zorin, um, it's this is uh, similar to what you get you what you got on Zorin nine and ten. Um, I installed Kazam and GUVC View, and Kazam would not properly save the file, so basically what happened is I did a test recording and when I stopped the recording and went to my videos folder uh, there was a separate video and separate audio file so it had not finished up the process when I tried to uh, quit Kazam it would not quit I had to go into the terminal and type kill all Kazam it did quit at that point but still would not finish up the process and I was left with a separate video and audio file which is useless so what I did is I installed simple screen recorder and that's what I'm using now along with GUVC view and it's working fine I did a test recording everything came out fine now if you look in your uh, file manager um, all of my other distros on this computer um, were recognized. I mounted a few of them just to see if they would mount. And everything looks good as far as the file manager goes. Now the, the uh, default is a uh, panel at the bottom of the screen, similar, kind of similar to Windows, I guess. Um, in the bottom right, you have your system tray with all of the um, items that you need. And there is a simple screen recorder, but you've got volume, and then this is your network connections. So uh, everything looks normal there. In the left-hand side, you have the um, menu. Now, of course, you've got some icons pre-installed. Firefox, you've got the file manager, um, email, and then your running applications, which I have GUVC View and Simple Screen Recorder. Very nice, very nicely done. Now the, the menu, uh, the default menu shows all of your categories on the left, and then you've got places on the right, documents, home folder, pictures, music, all your places are on the right. Then you've got the uh, logout and uh, shutdown restart. Now, if you click on a category, you can see that uh, in accessories, basically this is what you get out of the box. Activity, journal, archive, manager, backups, character map, clocks, contacts, disks, files, font viewer, passwords and keys, screenshots, search for files, and text editor. If you click back and go into games, you've got a few Linux games here. Uh, nothing unusual, not excessive. For graphics, you've got a document viewer, GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, Simple Scan, and Shotwell. 
Now for internet, you have desktop sharing, empathy, Firefox, Geary Mail, Ramina Remote Desktop, Zorin Web Browser Manager. The only thing I change here is I, I read that Geary is no longer going to be supported, and so you might want to install the N1 uh, email, which is what I'm using lately, and it works fine. Okay, so Office, you've got Calendar, LibreOffice, then you've got Spreadsheets, and this is a, a PowerPoint type, and then you've got your word processor. Sound and video, Bracero Cheese comes with it. I install GUVC View and Kazam and OpenShot and simple screen recorder but it does come with rhythm box and uh, the video player and it, it according to the notes it's their proprietary video player system tools administration preferences disk usage analyzer power statistics system log system monitor system settings terminal and then we're going to come back and take a look at the Zorin look changer and the Zorin the Zorin theme changer Wine is included, so you've got Play on Linux. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I like the way they've installed uh, the Wine and the Play on Linux, and so you're you're probably and I haven't tested it out, but you're probably all set to play your um, World of Warcraft and Hearthstone and things like that. Now. Uh, you'd have to go ahead and install Steam if you want that also. And the Software Center is the Ubuntu Software Center. <clears throat> so if you're familiar with that, you'll have no issues um, installing and removing packages. So it is uh, geared towards the new user and they've done a, they've done a fine job. And let's see, and then of course, as I mentioned, you have all your places. Now let's take a look at system tools. We're going to look at the Zorin Look Changer. Now, for in the default do download, uh, meaning the free download, you get Windows 7, Windows XP, and GNOME 2. I believe in the paid version, you get a few more uh, looks. You get, I believe, uh, like a an Apple or Mac OS X look um, so but you know to be honest with you um, for the free version this is terrific okay and there's the Windows 7 and let's see how the the menu is pretty much the same Windows XP and the menu has changed slightly you can go to all applications as you can see so the menu has changed to be more like Windows XP and then the GNOME as you can see it puts all of your um, applications places and system tray at the top and then the bottom has uh, an open windows just pretty much like gnome uh, so if you're used to gnome you'll be right at home with this uh, desktop so we're going to go back to the default and I'll close that out now that was the look changer now we're going to look at the theme changer so let's see you've got um let's see okay you've got some highlight colors that you can pick from blue green orange red and gray and there's the red so basically it just changed your highlight colors and then you can change your background and there is a dark theme if you like that and there's also a black theme if you like that so I'm going to go back to the default light and the blue. Okay, so as you can see, you have um, all of 
the software that you need and of course you have the ability to add anything that you want through the Ubuntu Software Center and out of the box it looks very very nice um, let's take a look at some of the desktop wallpapers as you can see very very nice a lot uh, quite a variety and kind of uh, maverick OSX maverick type wallpaper So that is it for Zorin 11, guys. It is beta, so <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't install it as your everyday daily uh, machine or your operating system. But uh, if you have a spare petition, by all means, download it, install it. If it's something that you think you might like, download it, install it, play with it. And if you come across any bugs, as I did with the uh, Kazam, Pass the information along to the developers. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.